<laughs> Hello, Sycamore. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back from the wonderful three-day weekend, and happy February 21st, 2023. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Diana, And hello, I'm Caitlin. We're so glad to have this great opportunity to join you guys on daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hands over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Check your emails throughout the day. Be informed on important information, especially now with the scheduling for next year going on as well. And spring sports tryouts, don't miss out. And yes, be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Okay, mark your calendars. Next week, February 27th through March 3rd is Art Spirit Week. We'll be sharing more information throughout the week. But I believe Monday is Monochromatic Monday. Um, so you're going to pick one color and wear lots of different shades of that one color. That's going to be your entire outfit. Green, do sage green, light green, dark green, whatever you can find in all the same color. And Art Spirit Week will lead up to the March 3rd through the 5th Fine Arts Weekend. Oh, and March 3rd is our deadline for ordering 2023 SCH yearbooks so make sure to get yourself one before you miss out i would not want to miss out on that so many great memories me neither can you make a note for me too awesome sure all right looks like we have another fun spirit week going on on march 6th through march 10th the student council spirit week will be through the following art spirit week so much fun i can't wait to see what fun stuff we'll wear that week yes we'll need to do that oh this one is crazy march 16th is already the end of the quarter three then, March 17th, we will not attend school when do our spring break running from March 20th to March 24th. This year is flying! Wow! Wow is right. And don't forget, March 1st, the Cooper Road Bridge will be closing. We'll need to leave extra, extra early to walk or ride our bikes all the way around to another path crossing the Interstate 71 Highway. I say, ride the bus so that we don't have to worry about an unexcused tardy and it will make traffic more efficient and run better. Yeah, I agree. Riding the bus will make things so much smoother in the mornings for the 70 days the bridge is closed. Let the countdown begin. Yes, ride the bus. Only eight more days until the bridge closes. Make sure to read the Junior High Navigator newsletter to figure out what bus you will need to take and what time it'll pick you up. Now, over to today's Black History Month recognition with Kyra and Leland. Oh. With music artist Luther Vandro. Who was Luther Vandro? By Kyra. Luther Rossini Vandross Jr., born April 20th, 1951, and died July 1st, 2005. When his Amer he was an American singer, songwriter, and record producer, known for his sweet and sound soulful vocals. Vandross has sold over 40 million records worldwide. He achieved 11 consecutive platinum albums and eight Grammy awards, including Best Made R&B Vocal Performance four different times in 2004. Rangos won a total of four Grammy Awards, including the Grammy Award for the Song of the Year for a song recorded not long before his death, Dance With My Father. Luther Vandross didn't have any children and he never got married. Those are a couple of pictures of him. The picture at the bottom is um, him performing with Diana Ross at the Madison Square Garden. July 6th in 2000. That's all for today's Black History Month recognition. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Over to our special guest from the Montgomery Women's Club, Miss Jones and our student who won the Short Story Contest Award. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Nancy Jones, and I'm from the Montgomery Women's Club, and I'm here about the writing contest that some of you have participated in. Um, so you have a winner among you, and it is Isabel Holcha. And she won third place for her short story, La Familia. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Ms. Jones, the Montgomery Women's Club, and our teacher sponsor, Ms. Adams, for such an amazing opportunity for our community and our school. Also, a very special congratulations to Isabel for her awesome short story award. Next up, did, did you know? know? Did you know actor Daniel Radcliffe from Harry Potter went through nearly 70 wands and 160 pairs of glasses throughout the making of all eight films. Wow. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the production team of, for the seven films also made 40 versions of Salazar of Slytherin's Locket, 250 paintings for The Marble Staircase, 900 memory vials for the cabinet in Dumbledore's office, and 210,000 coins 
for the Gringotts Bank scene just for the two films alone. Talk about magic. Talk about ne production. Exactly. <laughs> Next, Next up, National Day. Day! Today is Fat Tuesday, or Mardi Gras, as I learned about it in French. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are learning about it too. If you're in French club, enjoy the Mardi Gras party. Next, Next up, birthdays! <laughs> Happy birthday to Chase K and Kaylee L, who celebrated yesterday and got a day off, as well as a three-day birthday weekend. And happy birthday to Eleanor H, our very own news crew member, Caitlin D. Happy, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Three, two, one! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! Okay, and also Dante H, who are all celebrating today. Have a fabulous day! Yes, and thank you so much for the happy birthday. Happy birthday to all who are celebrating this past weekend. Hope you have an amazing birthday. Mm -hmm. Woo! Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's nice to have that big three-day weekend, and now we're on a Tuesday, so it makes the week go a little bit faster. All right, softball tryouts are going to start today. That's Tuesday in the main gym from 3.15 to 5, and they will run through Friday. Be sure to have your physical form, your gloves and shoes, and for those who might wear a fielder's mask or you're a catcher, make sure you bring that equipment as well. So that's going to start today after school in the old gym. The FTC Robotics team will be meeting tomorrow after school, that's Wednesday, uh, February 22nd from 3, 30, from 3 to 4.30, and starting next week we will move to Mondays only for the remainder of the year. So our first Monday meeting will be February 27th, so you're going to meet tomorrow, from 3 to 4.30, and then start meeting on Mondays, and that first Monday meeting will be February 27th. All 8th grade boys who are planning to play football at Sycamore High School this fall, there will be an important meeting on Wednesday, February 22nd, during Flex Bell. The high school coach, Coach Hello, will, will discuss important workout dates. The meeting will be held in the old gym, and you must have a pass from either myself, Mr. Harris, Mr. Winkle or Mr. DeJoy. So stop by one of those people to get a pass for the football meeting that is Wednesday during Flex Bell. Hey, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Now over to Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern with our character award recognitions. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to do this week's character awards. Hey, one week closer to eighth grade, eighth grade day. That's right. Hey, so looking always... forward to this year. I know eighth graders, I've talked to a few eighth graders, I know they're excited too. Yeah, that, and you know, with all the spring weather that we've been mm -hmm. having, right. uh, definitely starts feeling like we are getting much, much closer. Hey, we have a character award this week that goes out to Olivia O'Connor, and it reads, I picked you because you helped me a lot this year. You helped me with my grades. You helped me catch up when I was failing. You didn't make fun of me as well. I certainly appreciate all that you do as one of my friends. And yeah, doing simple things like helping our friends, especially with academics. We all have our certain areas that we're more skilled in and some people definitely can use assistance. And hey, if you can offer that to a friend, certainly that's a, a great thing that you can do helping people out academically. Awesome, Very awesome, important. great job. And uh, this week I have a tight dip hold and this is a very nice write-up. The day I met you, my life changed. You always pushed me to be my best, uh, and you always know how to cheer me up. I never knew how, what a big impact you have made on me, and you've truly made a huge difference in my life. That's, uh, that's a great write-up, and Ty, thank you for being such a good friend. Definitely. Hey, we've got uh, large one-topping pizzas for Ty and for Olivia. Uh, thank you for what you're doing here at the building. Um, this week, you are going to... I'll be in Miss Milligan's class. And I will be in Miss Morris's class. And hey, we visit classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the All week. Right. Have a great day. Thanks, and nice work, students. Thanks for doing the right thing and helping others. Now, it's time for the joke of the day. A sandwich walks into the coffee shop and tries to buy lunch. Um, so what happened? The Marisa said that they don't serve food. <laughs> <laughs> I know, good one. I get it, because a sandwich is a food. They don't serve food, food as well as they really serve food. It's a double meaning. Uh, yeah, um, you got it. And have you ever seen a sandwich walk into a coffee shop? I mean, I don't think that can physically ever happen. <laughs> Innovative. Say extraordinary and innovative Sycamore. Follow PVIS expectations every day to keep our school a fun, safe, and happy place. Have a wonderful week and go, go Waves! waves!